Welcome back to the Wolf Pit. Today in the next episode of the What Are We Eating series, I'm trying canned chicken chow mein. I remember this as a kid in the 70s, having this on a regular basis, and believe it or not, it was actually a treat for us that I really enjoyed. I also remember the Chungking chow mein commercials on TV like it was yesterday. Try Chungking for a beautiful body. Try Chungking for a beautiful life. How far do you think that voice would make it on American Idol? Well, in 1995, Chung King was bought out by its competitor, Lo Choi. So now there is only one canned chow mein that I know of, which is the one I'm going to try today, Lo Choi. The chicken chow mein comes in two cans taped together. The top can has the meat and the sauce, and the bottom can has the vegetables. Then of course you have to buy the crispy chow mein noodles separately to complete the dish. All of this costing right around $5. Not bad for a family meal. Or is it? So like I normally do in these videos, let's go over the outside of the cans before we open them up. The top can, which is the meat can, states it contains dark meat, which is a bonus for me because I love dark meat. The bottom vegetable can says it contains Asian style vegetables and has a pretty appetizing picture with big beautiful pieces of white meat. So now I'm confused. Is it dark meat or white meat? It doesn't mention anything about white meat but shows it in the picture, or is it a combination of dark and white? So now let's look at the most important part of the can, the nutrition facts. There's only 100 calories per serving. That's great, or is it? So one person could technically eat this entire can and only consume 300 calories, which is a good but fairly low number of calories for a typical meal for an average person. Or three people could eat one serving at 100 calories a serving and be totally malnourished and starve to death. The calories may not seem like a big deal to the average consumer, but if you really think about it, it speaks volumes about what exactly is in these cans. A lot of watery vegetables and added water. All you need to do is read the first four to five ingredients in the vegetable can. The first ingredient is water, but then you have bean sprouts, celery, carrots, and bell pepper, which are all basically water. Don't get me wrong, vegetables are good for us, but we haven't even gotten to the sodium levels yet, which will avoid anything good, so pay attention. Now onto the ingredients in the chicken and gravy, and frankly, it has a lot of crap in it. Even though I don't personally have a problem with or mind eating MSG, and the label does not specifically say it contains MSG, it does in fact contain MSG, and it's hidden in words like isolated soy protein, hydrolyzed soy protein, and hydrolyzed corn protein. They all contain MSG. Again, I don't personally have an issue with MSG or mind eating it, but some people do and some people have allergic reactions to it, etc. So beware of what's in your food. So real quick, let's go back to the nutrition facts and point out the amount of sodium per serving. A whopping 1,520 milligrams or 63% of your recommended daily sodium intake per serving. I don't know about you guys, but if I'm gonna sacrifice my body to that much sodium per serving, I want more than 100 calories. Now onto the Lachoy crispy chow mein noodles, and they are what they are. They're pretty basic, and they do provide some much needed calories to this dish. They also contain good mono and polyunsaturated fats, and unless I've missed something, do not contain MSG. Even if you've never had canned chicken chow mein, you've probably seen the chow mein noodles on salad bars. So now let's open up the can with the meat and sauce first. My first impression is this does not look good. And then I stirred it with a fork to see what the meat looked like, and I was very disappointed with what I saw. It looks nothing like the picture on the can with the white meat chicken and the white silky sauce. It actually looks like a can of cat food. Or as my friend Scotty tells me about cheap cigars, they often contain floor sweepings from throughout the day. I think their meat source has something in common with the cheap cigars. This is definitely not appetizing. And now onto the can of Asian style vegetables. And as soon as I opened it, I smelled feet. Unfortunately, I'm not kidding. The vegetables did smell like feet. The directions on the can said to drain the vegetables. So I drained them and they still smell like feet. It looks like the main ingredient in the vegetables is bean sprouts, but then you have baby corn, celery, carrots, bell peppers, water chestnuts, and bamboo shoots. So the directions say to pour the lovely concoction of mystery meat and sauce into a skillet over medium heat. Look at the little bit of meat that's in that can compared to the sauce. No wonder there's only 100 calories per serving. I bet there's more meat in a vegetarian meal. 
And then the direction said to add the vegetables, but I was so anxious to eat this that I dropped the whole damn bowl in. That's your blooper for the day, folks. I'll be here all week. Now give it a good mix until everything's well combined and heated through. I honestly thought once it was heated up, the foot smell would go away, but it seems to be intensified. And I've got to say, there's nothing more appetizing than the smell of hot feet. Now I'm going to plate it up just like my mom and dad did when I was a kid, over steamed rice. The anticipation of trying this is killing me right now, in a bad way. If I hadn't already eaten this as a kid and actually liked it, there's no chance in the world I would eat it right now. But I'm doing it for two reasons. One, to reminisce a bit about my childhood, and two, for you, my viewers, because you deserve to know what the heck you're eating. And now finally top it off with the crispy chow mein noodles. Now for the taste test, and to be honest, I really was looking forward to trying this since I haven't had it in over 30 years, and it was part of my childhood, and I do remember enjoying it as a kid. But, after a couple bites, I realized, either my taste buds have evolved in light years, or canned chicken chow mein was never really that good, or has simply turned to crap. The flavor is unsurprisingly extremely salty. As a matter of fact, it's very bland, and salt is really the only thing I taste besides the rice and chow mein noodles. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you do not give this a try. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and come back every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday for new recipes and cooking videos.